In this particular session, we are discussing how can we create phylogenetic trees in Python. I will tell you step by step everything. Even if you are a non-programmer, no worries. You will be able to understand this particular tutorial. Let me connect to my collab notebook and uh, in this particular case, because we know that if you want to work with Python, Python gives you a lot of libraries. So we will be making use of a library over here, which is named as the bio library or Python bio library. Now, if you want to make use of some library, you have to install it without installing any library. You cannot use it. So how to install it? INSTALL install the bio library. For that, you have to write PIP pip install install bio. This is the command you have to write pip install bio and then execute it. When you will run this particular command pip install bio, it will be able to install it. In this particular case, it is saying invalid syntax insta double l. So I'll just put an exclamation mark over there and run it. So here you can see that it is running for some packages it is saying requirement already satisfied and for some packages it is actually installing so one package or one library may have multiple sub packages so in this particular case pip install bio bio is the library which may have many modules many packages inside it also and few of them are already satisfied that means they are already there but what is not there is basically installed. You can see BioPython, Bio, MyZine, BioThings, Client. So these are uh, basically installed. Now, after you have the packages installed, you need to make use of them. How you can make use of them? By importing them. So from BIO Bio import. So this is how we write that from Bio import Philo phylo philo so from bio we will be importing philo and similar way the number of libraries which we require we will import them so here the step is import the necessary libraries so one is from bio import philo this is one library we want another library is from bio bio dot philo so inside philo we have something so from bio dot philo tree construction so tree construction we will import the distance calculator so we will have the data set where we will have to compute the distance and therefore we need distance calculator and after that we will also require from bio dot philo dot tree construction so here we will be importing import first we imported tree from tree construction we imported distance calculator and in this case we will be importing distance tree constructor so distance tree constructor so we want to visualize also and then we will have one package which is named as align io so from bio we will also import align io a l i g n align io so these are the required libraries or modules we wanted and we have imported them you can see that we have imported them now what we will do we will be reading the data so first of all i need to have data loaded how can I have data loaded in this particular section files I have to click and here we have upload section so I will click on this and I will load this file so this is the data you can see we have homo sapien chimpanzee bonobo gorilla and there basically data is given so I will be loading this file and click on ok so this file is getting loaded and you can see this msa.phi.txt has got loaded. I will copy the path. So click on these three dots and copy the path. After copying the path here, I will be loading this particular file. For loading purpose, the align IO. This align IO module or library is going to help me. 
सो ए एल आई जी एन अलाइन इज इक्वल टू ए एल आई जी एन आई ओ सो यू हैव टू राइट अलाइन आई ओ एग्जैक्टली द नेम ऑफ द लाइब्रेरी इन साइड द ब्रैकेट यू हैव टू पास पास द पाथ ऑफ द फाइल सो आई हैव पास द पाथ ऑफ द फाइल एंड देन वी कैन गिव सर्टन मोर पैरामीटर्स टू इट सो आई एम गिविंग द पैरामीटर हेयर विच इज फाइल लिप so file lib parameter i am giving here to read so you can see here from bio import align io align is equal to align io dot read so dot read method i'll have to use and then i'll have to put so here what i will do is align io dot read method i'll use dot read inside it i'll be putting the path so here i am putting the path over here and then comma and i'll put the next argument so next argument i'm putting as file lib p h y l i p this is the next argument now this is going to read it will be able to read okay in python if you want to know that what exactly is that so i can say print and in bracket type and a l i g n align so it will be an object of align io so bio dot align dot multiple sequence alignment and if i try to print it directly so let me see what do i get so i basically get data something like this alignment with six rows and 3331 columns so this is how it has got aligned so this data has been this data has been basically columns c a t g that has become column and six rows so 1 2 3 so basically one particular homo sapien one data belongs to homo sapien another data belong to chimpanzee it is like that so now this is what align has align io has helped us with by reading the data now let us calculate the distance matrix so here c a l c u l a t calculate the D I S T A N C E distance matrix M A T R I S X matrix or basically a table. So distance table we will calculate. For that C A L C U L A T U R calculator is equal to. So we already have imported distance calculator. I'll be using distance calculator over here. So this is the distance calculator, and inside distance calculator I'll be passing the a particular parameter. that how the distance needs to be calculated so i'll be passing here identity so i d e n t i t y identity so distance calculator will be taking the help of identity method now after that what i will do is i'll create dist m a t r i x distance matrix so this dist matrix i'll be using how i'll be doing i'll be using calculator over here so calculator already it is using identity method to calculate the distance and here get distance method i'll be using <clears throat> and get distance method inside it i'll be passing the align object which i have created so i have passed it so this will be creating a distance matrix so let me show you print dist distance matrix so this is what is a distance matrix you can see that from homo sapien then chimpanzee then bonobo so homo sapiens with homo sapiens then uh, homo sapiens with chimpanzee so this is the distance matrix 6 by 6 matrix we have okay and now after calculating this now what we will be doing is we will be actually constructing the tree so for that i'll create an object constructor so constructor is equal to here i'll be taking up uh, the uh, distance tree constructor so distance tree constructor i'll be taking so this is distance tree constructor and i have created an object so this is also called a model so we have created a object or you can say MODL model, okay, or object O B J E C T object of distance tree constructor that is created. After creating this, now we will be using different different algorithms to create the tree. So first algorithm is 
UPGMA. So there is an algorithm called as UPGMA algorithm, A L G O R I T H M. So UPGMA algorithm using that we will do. So UPGMA tree. So we'll name it as UPGMA tree is equal to constructor. So we'll make use of this particular model or the object and we'll use UPGMA method. Okay. And inside it, we will be passing the distance matrix. So we have created the distance metric for this purpose only. And this is now creating the tree for with the help of UPGMA algorithm. So now if I want to display or draw the tree, so draw the tree. So normally we call it as plot. Okay. So if you want to plot in that case, I'll have to use philo so philo dot draw so philo dot draw draw and inside this draw method i can pass up gma tree so that it can draw it so here with the help of uh, up gma tree we are able to draw and it is telling us the length of the branch and it is also telling us that uh, smartran and uh, orangutan they are basically similar uh, because they are sharing most recent common ancestor then you can see here bonobo and chimpanzee they are also sharing most recent ancestors most common okay recent common ancestors they are sharing so this is how with the help of upgma algorithm we are able to do it now the next algorithm we can use it we have uh, one more algorithm which is known as uh, NJ tree algorithm. So now we'll be creating with the help of NJ tree. So NJ T R E E NJ tree is equal to constructor. So constructor dot and here we'll be using the NJ method. This is the NJ method. So with the help of NJ and again we'll be passing distance metrics only inside it. So distance metric we have passed. So with the help of NJ method, the tree is going to get created. Now I will be doing philo. So P H Y L O philo dot. What will I do? Philo dot draw. So draw method and here I'll pass NJ tree because that has got the tree created. So this is with the help of NJ tree algorithm I have created. So here also you can see that we have similar kind of tree got created. Now after this uh, we now get to know that how the trees can be created with the help of a python library which is called as biopython or simply bio. That's it. I hope you like this particular video. You can share it with your friends who actually require to do such kind of practicals and do like subscribe and share our channel. Thank you.